How's it going guys, Vlad here and welcome to a review of nodal analysis. I've been getting a lot of questions on my first video. Some folks are confused about the mesh currents, some are confused about the batteries, so I just wanted to solve a few uh, quick uh, examples to, I guess, clarify and explain some of the doubts that you guys are having. So let's get started. This is the um, first question. So as you can see, VB is already connected for us to the ground. So we can already say that VB is equal to zero volts and we're going to perform a nodal analysis at VA. So let's put directions on our currents. Once again, these do not matter. The direction is going to simply be a guideline for your equation. But if you get a negative, you know that the current is going the opposite way from which you have uh, selected. So let's name them I1, I2, and I3. So to start the nodal analysis at VA, you're going to write the current equations. So you have I1 comes in, and then you have I2 plus I3 coming out. So this comes from the Kirchhoff's current law. So um, whatever currents come in are equal to whatever currents come out. Nothing uh, too difficult. So you know that I is equal to V over R. So you start by analyzing each current. So I1 is equal to, here we have a 12 volt, since we're going zero to 12. So I1 is equal to 12 minus VA, since it's going this way, divided by the resistance, which is 489. I2, you only have VA divided by 24. So obviously it's VA minus VB, but it's zero, so we can leave it as such. And I3 is equal to VA minus six, since you have a six volt, zero volt, divided by 80 ohms. So this is your only equation in, uh, for this case. And using the calculator, you can very, very quickly solve this. Um, so you have one, nine, two, zero. So I'm multiplying um, to get rid of the denominators. So 12 minus VA is equal to VA plus sorry, this is plus one, one, seven, six VA minus six. Um, so continuing with that equation, we open the brackets, 19, 20 times 12, 23, 0, 4, 0, minus 19, 20, VA, it's equal to 3, 9, 0, 3, 8, plus 1, 1, 7, 6, VA, minus 7, 6, 6, 7056. Uh, we put all our VAs on one side, all of our um, numbers on the other, so we have 23040 um, plus 7056, and that's equal to 3920 plus 1176 plus 7016 VA. Now we have 23040 plus 6. So this is 30,096. And we divide that by 7016 to get VA. So it's 4.29 volts. Um, so from, from this information, as I explained in my earlier video, you know that VA is equal to 4.29. So you should be able to get all these currents. Um, so obviously just plug it back in. So if you want I1, for example, you're just going to do 12 minus 4.29 divided by 49. And you should, should get should get 0 0.157 amps or 157 milliamps. So 
on an exam question, typically you can only be asked a voltage, current, um, or a resistance. So that's going to be another unknown, and you should be able to come back to it and solve for that. Uh, let's take a look at a more complicated question. Um, so stay tuned. All right. So this is question number two, uh, and as you can see, there's no ground given to us. So let's just arbitrar arbitrarily put it at node two. So this means that N2 is automatically equal to zero volts. And let's start writing the equation. So at node one, uh, we will have a current coming in, current coming out, and a current coming out. So let's name this I1, I2, I3, right? So you have I1 is equal to I2 plus I3. I1 is equal to 200 minus N1 divided by 90. I2 is equal to N1 minus N2, which is 0. So we'll just leave it as such, divided by 15. Plus, so as you can see, the battery over here um, actually is is going from minus to plus so what's going to happen is you have um, N1 minus N3 um, N1 minus N3 and you're going to add 250 and all that divided by 30 ohms so, <clears throat> yeah, that is correct. Um, I was just making sure. Uh, let's move on. So, N3, we have I3 coming in. We're going to add, this is going to be I4, and this is going to be I5. So, nodal at N3, we're going to have I3 coming in, and it's equal to I4 plus I5, right? So, I3 is the same, N1 minus N3 plus 250 divided by 30 ohms in that branch, and it's equal to I4 is just N3 minus N4 divided by 20 plus N3 minus N4 plus 120 divided by 100. So one, two, and finally we have N4, which has I4, I5, let's make this I6, and this would be I7. So N4 has I4 plus I5 equal to I6 plus I7. So again, just to reiterate, currents coming in equals to currents coming out. Um, I4, and one thing to notice is once you have written I4 here, just copy this. Don't waste time. Don't waste I'm trying to figure out what's what's happening. So N3 minus N4, N5, sorry, I5, N3 minus N4 plus 120 divided by 100. <coughs> I6 is just, this is going to R0, so it's N4 plus 300 divided by 60 and finally I7 as you can see it's just N4 divided by 20 so we have we are left with three equations to solve and three equations and three unknowns should be fairly simple um, I guess I'll go through the process here we can multiply by 90 so it's 200 minus N1 equals 2, 
6 and 1, so I'm multiplying by 90, um, plus 3n1 minus 3n3 plus 750, equation number 1. Equation number two, um, we can multiply by 300, so 101 minus 103 plus, sorry, this is going to be 10, 10 and 1, uh, minus 10 and 3 plus thousand five hundred and it's equal to so three hundred divided by twenty uh, that's going to be twelve so twelve three minus sorry that's gonna be fifteen fifteen and three minus fifteen and four plus three and three minus three and four plus three sixty so that's equation number two. And finally, you have equation number four, which is all of this. And once again, we can multiply by 300 to obtain 15 and three minus 15 and four plus three and three minus three and four plus 360. Um, equal to five and four plus thousand five hundred plus um, fifteen and four. Uh, so you have three equations, three unknowns. Um, I'm sure most of you are able to solve this. Um, you isolate either um, and one and three or in four, you plug it in the next equation and so on and so forth. I'm going to post the answers for this question down below. And once again, you're, you should be able to find all the currents. So I1 through I7, if you know the voltages. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this alleviates some of the questions. I would like to get in the um, variable sources soon. I mean, dependent sources. So make sure to comment, subscribe, let me know what else you would like to see. Thank you. Bye.